Hey guys, even here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about Ramon Dino and what happened to him at the Arnold Classic Ohio this year, where he lost unexpectedly, very unexpectedly to Wesley Wissers. Was that Ramon at his best? If not, why not? Here is a video that he posted. This is the first video of physique update that he posted in a while. And this guy doesn't post stuff very often. And during this prep for the Arnold Ohio, he was not very active on social media. Wesley was really active. Urs also not so much. Ramon not really. Maybe they were posting like uh, videos of them training on their YouTube channels. But like on Instagram, physique updates, nothing. Nada. And today we got a physique update without any captions, but I believe this is like right before the Arnold Ohio. It's in the same posing room where I saw a couple of other bodybuilders post their physique updates prior to the show. So I believe it's like some local gym in Columbus, Ohio, if I'm wrong, correct me. But this is what he looked like a day before. Now let's take a look at this video and let's see if maybe Ramon was just simply off with his peak week. Let's see what he looked like a day or a couple of days before the show. I gotta give him one thing. He was peeled, man. He was shredded. There was no fat left on that body and basically there was no water either. Here he was dry. He was shredded. Now as far as size, you can see it in the quarter turns from the sides. His arms weren't really at their biggest, at their fullest. As you can see, back was good, conditioning was spot on. From what I heard, he had a very short prep. I believe he prepped for like six weeks or so. I'm not sure what exactly that means. Was he training in the gym for six weeks? Was he only in a caloric deficit for six weeks? If it is the latter, then fine. I mean, he got shredded, but maybe he did it too fast. And what people are saying is true. He got a little bit too flat. He lost some muscle in the process. Or he took some time really off, off of everything after the Olympia, and he started eating, training, and, you know, taking stuff uh, six weeks out of a show. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened exactly. I can only speculate and assume. But I'm gonna look at what his physique looked like, uh, as you can see right here, a couple of days before the show, and I'm gonna compare that to some other editions of Ramon Dino and see exactly what was wrong. Was it simply that uh, Wesley was so much better that Ramon, even at his best, can't beat him? Or was Ramon, like, really off? Well, in this video, I wouldn't say he looks off. Maybe he looked a little bit flat, but I would guess there is time to carb up, to fill out. Basically, if I was looking at this video before the show, I would not say Ramon looks off. However, I did say he does look downsized at three weeks out of Arnold Classic when he posted this training video in which he did look significantly smaller than usual. I thought he was just digging deep for the show because he was late or something, and maybe it was the case, but in the end, the final product, at least at this point, a couple of days out, did not look small. It actually looked very good. It did look like it needs a little bit more carbs, it needs to be filled out, but it didn't look bad, it didn't look off. He did lose to Wesley Wissers, and on stage, people did say that he looked flatter, that his muscle wasn't popping as much, that he was maybe a little bit smaller, but I don't think anybody said that he wasn't conditioned. Yeah, his legs were down in size, they weren't deeply separated as they usually are, and they weren't, you know, as full and as sweepy. So I wouldn't say that he lost muscle because he started prepping too late. I think he was just flat. He didn't carb up enough, and that's it. I believe there was a good chance of Ramon filling out doing a better peak week for the Arnold UK and potentially defeating Wesley Wissers. No matter how dominant he is today, I think Ramon is very close to Wesley Wissers, unlike Urs Kalecinski from this point on and uh, Brion Ainsley and other guys. So I think Wesley Wissers and Ramon Dino are very, very close, and they were basically in points, even at this show. So if Ramon did the UK and picked better, I think he would have a good chance against Wesley Wissers. Can any of you guys guess when this photo was taken? Those of you who remember the photo, you will know, but those of you who don't remember, what do you think? What would you guess? Was this before the Mr. Olympia 2023? No, no way. Was this like way back in the day when he was competing in man's physique? No, no. Believe it or not, this is actually 2023 Arnold Classic, where he won. Yeah, a day before the show, he looked like this. This is how flat Ramon Dino gets 
before the show at the Wayne's. And uh, yeah, he has, I think he has like a pound or two left before he reaches the weight cap, but that's that's like very, very close. Uh, I'm sure they deplete him very much to make the weight, to be sure. And yeah, I think last time he competed, he was like two pounds below the weight cap. But still, still, he does need to deplete. And this is what he looks like when he is flat before he carves up. He looks much, much smaller. And if he competed like this at the 2023 Arnold Classic, I believe he would be like 10th or something. And this is what his body looks like when he eats a little bit of food. Yeah, the lighting here is great, but this is the same spot, the same posing room like the one we saw prior to 2024 Arnold Classic. So this is what he looked like last year, a year ago, before the Arnold which he won. Yeah, there was no Wesley Wissers, but was Ramon Dino better at that show? I think he was, I think he was, I think he was just fuller, I don't think he was more conditioned, in fact, I believe he progressed his physique, I believe at the Mr. Olympia last year, 2023 Mr. Olympia, he was at his absolute best, he was better than he was right here, however, for the Arnold Classic 2024, I think he just didn't peak right, because look at him here, even though he was smaller here than he is today, with his conditioning, with his details, with his shape, once he's carved up, once he's actually full, he looks twice as big. If he brought this to the 2024 Arnold Classic stage, would he win against Wesley? Maybe, maybe he would, because this was really good. Even though he progressed more later, this peak, man, this conditioning and this completeness, with legs, big and full like this, separated as well, with his symmetry and everything, Wesley would have trouble beating him, Wesley won by one point, so I don't know if he would if Ramon looked like this, and then of course there's also the Mr. Olympia edition of Ramon Dino, at this show I believe he kinda sorta pushed Sibam, you know, and he looked improved, he definitely did look better, he looked his best ever, and now that he lost the Arnold Classic, I believe he's gonna come strong to the Mr. Olympia. Strong enough to actually push Chris Bumstead? I don't know about that. I guess that depends mainly on Chris, whether he injures himself once more or comes in off. But as long as Chris comes in at like 90-95%, he's most likely gonna win. However, a well-picked and improved Ramon Dino in good condition with good fullness is gonna be really hard to beat. Can Wesley Wissers do it? What Wesley has right now going for him is his golden era structure, golden era shape of physique. And maybe the judges decided to go in that direction. If they did, then Chris Bumstead is also gonna have problems with Wesley Wissers. But if criteria did not change that much, if Wesley won simply because he was, you know, simply the best bodybuilder on that stage on that day, you know, the best conditioning, the best size, the best completeness, fullness, symmetry and all that, then, you know, I don't think he can beat uh, Ramon that easily. I don't see Urs Kalitinski ever beating Wesley again, I don't see Brion having a chance or Terence Ruffin, but Ramon Dino, yeah, he lost to Wesley, but he was not at his best. If he brings it, if he has enough time to prep properly, to come in full and shredded and everything and he improves a little bit more, he can beat Wesley, he can beat him for sure. There is one more thing I noticed, at the Arnold Classic 2024, his posing was better than it was at the Olympia. This is the Olympia edition and here, yeah, his physique was just spot on, like he was a blasting fool. I mean, look at him from behind, look at the glutes and the back, he was filled up to the gills, like he was on and he was conditioned as well. You could make an argument for him being even leaner at the Arnold, but he didn't have this kind of fullness, and fullness is very, very important. It makes your physique look prettier, more aesthetic, classic. So he needs to have both, conditioning and fullness, and I think he's gonna make some improvements as well, and also I think his posing was improved. He wasn't as shaky as he normally is at the Arnold, and I think he's gonna get even better at a Mr. Olympia. So once again, guys, if you look at this video, do you see him actually being downsized? Or do you think he was just simply off? That he didn't fill out properly? That he just missed the peak? And that's why he lost the Arnold Classic to Wesley Wissers. And do you think if he peaks right, he can beat Wesley at a Mr. Olympia? Or you have Wesley Wissers fighting for a title against Chris Bumstead? 
Whatever you guys think, please tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.